What up guys, we are out here in the beautiful Milwaukee Harbor guys. One of my favorite uh, cities in the whole country right here. Love Milwaukee. Uh, today we're doing something a little different. Uh, we're gonna go out and try to troll for some salmon and trout today. I'm with my boy Han as always, he's gonna be filming. Uh, my goal today is just five fish guys. I'm not a huge, I'm, I'm getting into trolling. I'm out of, you know, it's not my bread and butter style of fishing, but I enjoy it and I have been catching a few fish the last times I've been out. So it's fun, I wanna get better at it, but we're gonna go out five fish goal whether that be salmon or trout five fish and just kind of show you guys a few things and see it the bite's supposed to be even pretty good fish are out deep it is it is uh june 23rd right now uh so we're gonna go start in 100 and work out to maybe 180 so we'll just kind of see where the fish are stay tuned for the video guys should be a cool one should be a fun one i'm excited han's excited i woke his ass up at 7 a.m this morning and he was not a happy camper but we're gonna catch him today Let's go. Yes. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's get it. All right, guys. We are about about an hour in now. It has been a little slow. It took a while to get all our oh, he's running all our line set. Um, this is a dipsy dipsy flasher. Pretty deep water right now. Um, this this thing's fighting pretty good, guys. I, it's fighting like a lake trout actually. Uh, I'm just gonna take my time, bring this fish in. See what we got, guys. Stay tuned. The key with trolling, guys, when you're reeling in fish, you gotta remember there's a lot of drag and pull behind the boat because you're still running the boat. So you just, just, you just gotta ease them in nice and slow. Take your time. There's a lot of pressure on that fish's mouth from with the hook and then the, the pull of the boat. So when you're reeling in a fish, just take your time. That's the biggest thing I could say. So guys, Han's filming, but he's also the netter. So he's gonna set the camera down and try to try to get the the net on tape when we get the fish in the boat here. I don't think he popped off. I hope he didn't pop off. I don't think so. Oh, there. oh, get that, get that, get that. We still got him. We still got him, guys. I thought he came off. No, shine it there. Look, look, look. He's jumping. We got a big steelhead, guys. Looks like a big steel, maybe a coho. Thought he came off, but he was he's still silver. All right, we got one. <laughs> this is a nice coho, really nice coho. That was uh, pretty crazy there for a second. So the problem is, while I was yelling, I, I can't reel anymore so i have a long leader guys so i have to just kind of lift it's a whole thing but anyway we got the fish in the boat it's a beautiful really nice coho look at that coho salmon guys beautiful fish probably eight six to eight pound whoa six to eight pound coho on the flasher fly um we got him in the boat that's a great color right there guys that this color flasher green and white Really good. All right, let's get the hook out. Beautiful fish. This is a coho, dude. This is one of the best eating, huh? All right. And I even put, ooh, bro, he even ate my little, little trick I put on there. But check this out, guys. We got him, baby. Beautiful coho salmon, Lake Michigan. We're trolling out of uh, Milwaukee Harbor right now. We had a little craziness, but Han ended up get, getting him in the net. Uh, this is probably the best eaten species of salmon you can catch out here in Lake Michigan, guys. The only thing I love about them, look at the turquoise, blue and green on the shoulders. But this fish is coming home with us. Hit flasher and fly. Beautiful coho. Awesome, awesome stuff. This is actually my first salmon of 2023. Um, yeah, super stoked. I know, huh? What'd you think of that, man? Awesome. Yep. All right, guys, we're going to put them on ice. Hopefully get another one. 
All right, guys, we got another one. We had a period of no fish for about an hour and a half, and I just came over a massive school of bait, and uh, we just hooked up on, I think, ooh, 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 ooh. Nice steelhead, I believe, is what we got here. Uh, we jumped. We jumped another steelhead earlier. But uh, we're gonna try to get this fish in. This will be the second one landed. We've lost, lost a couple, but that's how it goes out here in the Great Lakes. When you're trolling. But this fish is really far out. I mean, there's a lot of line out right now. We're in 100, 160. I think it was a, this was a jumper. All right, guys, this, I think this fish is hooked up, hooked pretty good on a lead core. Uh, I think it's a 10 color rod. Actually, it might be, this might be a five color, I don't know, but. Just taking my time with this fish. most important thing when you're fighting these these fish guys is just main, maintain pressure on the line and I'm trying to control the boat at the same time here so there's just a lot going on here guys it, it's fun I got a lot of line out on this reel probably way more than I needed to than I should have had out Guys, it's a beautiful steelhead, Han. Big steelhead, buddy. Big steelhead. Remember, remember how I taught you, okay? A full scoop. A full scoop. A full scoop. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. The whole bike. Go, 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 go. Good job. Perfect, perfect. Good job. Let me film you. Hold on. Guys, we did it. Han killed it that time. Let's go. Beautiful steelhead. Look at that beautiful chrome. Beautiful steelhead, guys. Look at that fish. That's gotta be seven, eight pound steelhead right there. You wanna get a close up real quick? Show, show what. So guys, we got a, this is one of my favorite spoon colors. I don't even know what they call that, but it's that black dot and that chrome or lime green. Really effective color, guys. That's just on a, I believe that was a five color leg core. Um, but man, that fit, look at that spoons right there, be careful. I'm gonna hold them up, guys. Now this is a, this is a steelhead here. So we, the first one we got was a coho. It's a Lake Michigan steelhead. They're, they're pretty good eating. They're really good baked or on the grill. But again, I just love that turquoise color. Just so cool. These fish are beautiful. But that's a sol uh, thought it'd be another fish. That's a solid, uh, probably seven, seven pound steel right there, guys. Beautiful fish. Uh, it, basically a rainbow trout. So it's a lake run rainbow trout, but really, really neat. So we got two of uh, a one man limit so far. We lost a couple more. But look at that, boom, beautiful. If you get a close up on the colors on that, dude. Beautiful fish. Steelhead are cool, they got a squared tail like that too. All right guys, Han is hooked up right now. This will be number fish number three if we land it. Han's got some good form going right now. It's a beautiful day out here in Milwaukee Harbor, guys. We're running three leg core rods, two dipsies, and one uh, downrigger. Downrigger hasn't been touched all day. Most of our action is leg core and dipsy. This is a dipsy fish. And staying down, I want to guess coho. Nice and easy, brother. Nice and easy. You're doing good. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Yep, when he does that, let him do it. Rod dip up, rod dip up. Okay. Oh, he's, he's yep, banging. Let, let it do it. Reel, reel down, reel down. He's going to get you in the line. Reel down, reel down. Come stand over here now, right in the middle, right here. Reel down. Keep pressure. Reel, 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 reel. Reel and lift slow. Reel and lift slow. Now straight up. Good, 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 good. Now lift straight up, lift straight up, straight up. And the, the, upwards, upwards, upwards. Got it. So we got a beautiful lake trout here, guys. Han just caught. Um, we're gonna bring him in. We'll get a photo. 
So, so if you're gonna keep one, guys, this is a good eating size. It's not too big. It's probably five, six pounds. I don't like keeping big Lakers, but it's a smaller fish. And uh, Han wants to keep it. It's his fish, so it's legal. Smaller, but here, look how beautiful that is, dude. All right, guys. See if, we'll see if it jumps. I think, I think we got a fish on, guys. I'm not, I'm not for certain right now. Now this is the weighted leg core rod with the weight, the weighted line I was telling you about. Okay, this might be a nice fish, dude. Oh, he's getting in this line. He's getting in the dipsy. Keep it like that and just slow lifts. When he gets close, I might have to help you because we have these, we have a bunch of lines right here. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. I'm gonna be able to. Oh, we got another fish, another fish. You good, you good, you good. Another fish, another fish. We're doubled up, guys, we're doubled up. Look at that, guys, look at that. I got a baby. I got a baby one. Little coho. Little coho, guys, that's a keeper fish. Look at that, guys. Choke that spoon. Little coho, great eating. If you guys are gonna eat a fish, this is the size coho to eat right here, guys. Oh, it's a, it's a big one, dude. What is it? Oh, you got a lake trout again, another lake trout. Left high. Got it, good job. Yeah, buddy. I got a second lake trout of the day. Yeah, nice fish. Guys, check this out. Look how he ate the spoon. He ate that spoon really well. Uh, this was on a... Now, guys, quick little tip here. If you're going to release fish, especially the lake trout... Oh, hold this, hold this. Another fish. Another one. Ooh, this one's big. I'll take care of... Oh, God, this is crazy, bro. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is a good one. Wait, this is a good one, guys. This might be a Chinooker. We got a lake trout in here. We got another another big fish, guys. We are we are on them right now. We have put in the time today. We have put in the time. We've been out here for at least five hours now. We've had our, our lows. We've had our highs in terms of finding bait and finding fish. And when you find them, though, boy, it's hot, guys. I mean, they're, they're on right now. Look at this. This is a nice fish. This is a big fish. This might be a king. This might be a king salmon. Fish is still going. Oh, we gotta, we gotta release that trout. Guys, we're gonna, we're gonna release this fish. I just wanted to show you that beautiful lake trout. He's good, he's good. Lake trout's released, guys. Lake trout's fine. He was in the net, in the water. Facing vertical under the current, so he's gonna be fine. He went right to the bottom. We got another fish on right now. This one might be a king salmon, or it's a big laker. This is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. We're in 190 now. Guys, I've been fighting this fish now for a minute. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. I'm, my guess is this is the lake trout. He hasn't really. Guys, we've been hammering the lake trout today. Um, I figured it was a laker, but they're so fun to catch, guys, and they're so pretty. But uh, this was on a lake or. Oh, actually, no, 
Yeah, actually, you're right. Um, let's, uh, I'm going to give you the rod real quick. Got him. Big lake trout. So, guys, this is the biggest lake of the day. You know, we're not out here to keep everything we catch, especially the lake trout. They're beautiful fish. I'm just going to show you guys real quick. This is a beautiful Lake Michigan lake trout, guys. Look at the colors on that fish. Can you see it all right? Real dark, beautiful, beautiful fish. Such a cool fish. You can actually come out here and jig these if you guys want, but that was on an orange spoon. Orange moonshine, look at that. Beautiful markings, fat. They're eating really good on AOIs. I'm going to get this fish back, get a good release of this. When you dump these fish back, guys, literally just, that's all you got to do. Fish should go right back down to the bottom. And that's it. We've been, we've been, I wouldn't say pounding. We've been doing good today. I think we got four Lakers, uh, no Kings, two Coho, one or two Coho, and a Steelhead, and we jumped another Steelhead. So we've been having action. Pretty somewhat consistent action all day. Hans caught a few. It's been fun, guys. It's been fun. Check out the spoon that we're using. Uh, orange and uh, yellow, shine of chartreuse. Cool. Let's get another one. All right, guys. So basically, uh, we've been out for a minute now. I want to just kind of go over my spread and just show people that are new. The point of this video is kind of show people that want to get into salmon fishing or trolling. Kind of just show you guys uh, some of the basics on what we're doing here. So we got a lot of moving parts here, so bear with me, guys. Like we get a lot of rods out. Bite's been pretty good. Um, basically, to start off, this is an Okuma Classic CLX Reel. You can go to, if you're here in southern Wisconsin, guys, Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's. I go to R&R. &R. Uh, go talk to Roger at R&R. &R. It's a great bait shop here in Milwaukee. They got a lot of good stuff. Everything you need for the Great Lakes and salmon. Small little family-owned shop, but a lot of great stuff. They actually sell these rigs pre-rigged with the leg core already on them, the mono. You just basically have to buy the spoons and the terminal tackle. Uh, I want to show you guys, this has been a hot spoon today. This color right here, I don't remember what it's called. Two-Faced Spoon, guys. Uh, this has been a really hot spoon for me uh, the last couple of years. Um, now, when I go to set these, this is a lead core five or six, seven color rod, guys. With this, basically what you're doing is, when you go to set a lead core rod, get it out in the water, okay, clickers on, and basically you just kind of want to free spool it. You want that line to just, just go out naturally. I'm free spooling the reel. Now it takes a minute. Sometimes it takes like two to three minutes just to set one of these leg four rods out. But you're basically just, you know, I'm letting a bunch of line out here. So this is the mono. You have about, I have about 50 yards uh, mono to the leg four, which leg four is a weighted lead. So it's a line, it's, 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 a, it's like a, a coated lead essentially. So it just, it drops the bait down to the bottom without having to use uh, sinkers. So, I'm letting this bait go down to the bottom. You can see there's colors here for every uh, five feet, or every every uh, color represents five feet of depth. This is where, how far down it goes. Now sometimes you get uh, a little kink in the line, so you're just letting the line go. It's gonna take a minute. Let me see. I got blue on here. I got like red, orange, brown, a lot of different colors. But these have been really hot. For uh, Han and I today, guys, the speed we're trolling at is anywhere from 2.2 two to 2.4. It's been hot for us. We're doing pretty good. No, no kings, but you know we've had action. We got nice cohos, nice steelhead. The lake trout. I like catching the lake trout. I think they're fun. I think they're awesome fish. A lot of guys don't like catching them, but I like catching them. And we're just letting line back. We got a six rod spread. Uh, have a good net with you guys and step you, you know, again, people that are want to try getting into this, you know, first of all, you got to have a solid boat, have a nice haul on your boat, a, 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 at least a 16 foot, I'd recommend, mine's 17.5, but it's got a solid haul, I have a Lund, don't come out here and risk it on a small boat, guys, if the weather picks up, safety is always first on these, I'm a, char I'm a licensed charter captain, I worked down in Florida over the years and starting to do Lake Michigan. You know, safety is always first when you come out on a great lake like this. It can get rough and dangerous really quick. We've been blessed with a beautiful day today. Um, but yeah, have a solid boat. You want a good net, because it's not at least a five foot net, something that can extend out. You can scoop the fish up. We've had a few troubles with that today, but we got it. And um, you know, a lot, it's just tackle. Like I said, go to R&R. &R. They got everything you need for you Southern Wisconsin guys that are wanting to try this, get into it and just, uh, you know, get, where do you start? You know, the rod holders aren't cheap, I will say. I had to pay $160 per rod holder. 
as you guys know, with inflation, everything else going on, you kind of just got to bite the bullet on it sometimes. But um, and I'm basically I have my trolling motor down. I'm using my my iPilot here to control me when I have a very low gear running on my engine in the back here. So we're going, like I said, two two and two six or so, anywhere in that range. Uh, Fishing is all about experimentation, guys. Try different things, see what's working. You know, we've tried a bunch of different things to have chain spoons so many times. It's all about trying different stuff and just seeing what works. Really, really important. Okay, so now my leg core is gone. This is my mono backing. So now that I'm at my mono backing, I'm going to let that mono reach the water's surface. Okay, right about there. Close it. Since Han's filming, I'll do it myself. Get your planer boards, guys. Another essential tool for trolling. Get up your planer board. This is my port side. You clip it on just like so. You can watch videos on that to see more precise with that, but it's pretty simple. And what planer boards are designed to do are get your uh, lines out away from the boat. So you can see I got one out there already. I got one planer board there, one planer board here. So I kind of space them out. Let more line back on that one. Okay, you want your drags not too tight, guys. If you're gonna do this, don't have your drags too tight. Get about medium. You want the fish to be able to run and not tear the hook out of its mouth. There's a lot of pressure back there with the boat moving. There's a lot of force on that fish's mouth and on the spoon. So you kind of just gotta ease them in. And uh, a lot of times they'll just set the hook on themselves when they eat the bait and they turn their heads. They'll set the hook on themselves. So, okay, I'm gonna... Drag. Okay, that one's set. We have two two planer board rods out. Dipsy, downrigger, which the downriggers had one, we caught one lake trout in the downrigger. The dipsies have been good. The lead core have been the hottest today, anywhere from 10 to 30 feet has been good. So anyone can come out and do this. I know it's intimidating at first, guys, but if you're gonna come out and do this, make sure you have, it all starts with the right boat. It's important out here. You're not going on a small inland lake. Have the right boat, get, get some of the gear you can buy. Most of the gear you need for probably under 300 bucks, you know, if just for basic starter stuff. But as you advance more into it, you're going to look at a little bit more money. But it's a lot of fun to come out here, guys. Salmon are great eating fish. They're, they're cool looking fish and they're fun to catch. They fight. You can bring some friends, have a good time. It's almost like this is the closest you're going to get to being on an ocean here in, you know, Wisconsin or just the Midwest. So it's really pretty out here. Take advantage of it. It's an awesome fishery. Come catch some dinner. All right. Hopefully you guys learned something from that. We're going to try to get a few more fish and then we're going to go get some dinner. Maybe go to Summerfest and who knows, have a fun time. Let's go. All right, guys, we just got back. We just cleaned our fish. Um, fun day in the water, fun day in the water. I think we totaled out with, uh, I think we had six or seven fish, but uh, we, I know we had <clears throat> three lake trout, two coho, one steelhead and we jumped another steelhead and then we lost another coho. So we did pretty decent. It was pretty consistent throughout most of the day. We had our ups and downs, but this is more just a tutorial video for you guys to kind of just show you guys some of the, the basics when, when trolling. You can see we're still we're at the harbor here in McKinley. Beautiful background, people walking around. It's absolutely beautiful out here, guys. Um, so highly recommend you guys to try this out. Get yourself a decent boat. Stop at R&R. &R, uh, use some of those techniques I showed you guys, some of those spoon colors we used today. and. Uh, Go out and have a good time. We got some uh, we got some meat for the freezer. Might smoke a few cohos up. And uh, overall, it was a good day today. Han had a good day. Um, yeah, I'm a little tired. <laughs> We're gonna go get some food and go to Summerfest. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next video. Thank you.